What's good people, Mr. Brown here, Mr. Brown's exclusive YouTube channel. Today we're at Crep City in Manchester, never been here before. We're gonna see what it has to offer, is it worth selling here, and go through a lot more things in details. Now follow me inside and let's see what it's saying. What's up guys, Mr. Brown's exclusive here. So it's my first time at Crep City in Manchester and my first time in Manchester, which we had a great time going out on Friday and Saturday. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look around. I'm not gonna be buying today because it's my first time coming to Crep City. I'm gonna see how it goes and then maybe next time I will look into buying and having a store here. So we're gonna have a walk around, follow me and let's go. So we're gonna take a look at some of the tables. I know my boy over here, Noah, look at him hiding. Look at him, look at this guy. Um, but yeah, this is my boy Noah. No Noah for a while. There's a group of them actually. I don't know who's who. Where's Brad? Oh god, he's so harsh. Oh, he's so harsh. But literally on the table, we've got the Jordan UNC6 that's just dropped recently. Prices on them isn't extremely high at the moment. Obviously, it's still a decent price. Woman sizes you can probably get from about like probably depending on how, how much you're buying it for, probably 120 to 130. And obviously it depends on what you're gonna resell it for on top. Good prices. No Noah, depending on how what mood he's in, normally gives some good prices, but it depends it depends on his mood, isn't it? And he will always add chip after you've made the deal. That's what will always happen. But obviously, you got the rare black cat fours, you got the metallic reds, the purple. Is this red? Yeah, you got the red, you got the orange, you got the full pack. Obviously, I think the purple came out in the US, red in England. And I think the green pair was Asia and the orange was our South America. I'm not sure, it might be the other way around. And obviously we've got the Red Thunder Fours. He's basically got the full Fours pack. Noah's your guy. But yeah, anyways, he's being a camera shy today. So we'll leave him alone and we move on. I'll show you later. Um, next up, we're going to have a look around and see what else we can find. Rare shoes. Obviously rare shoes I was spotting, spotting the Travis Scott Sixes and the Dior Jordan Ones in the container over there. Please. Everyone's in Broken Planet. so. This is another clothing brand that's upcoming called BPM, also short for a broken, oh, broken I think it's Broken Planet or Broken Flea Market, I'm not, I'm not sure the exact words. But literally, if you look at the designs here, he's got on the grey top. I think I see someone in the hoodie, the Broken Hearts over there hoodie, next to the Supreme. Literally the brown hoodie, really decent. And also on the table, we've got some good shoes. I think these ones are used. Let's see what the prices are. 140 for Pearl Orange, not too bad. Man. Ceramic dunks, four and a half, 190. I love the top. We're literally talking about Broken Planet. Mine. Huh? Mine. Oh, so, so wearing... Mine, and then I'm wearing his. I love that. It's like a Freaky Friday, and it had it just completely <laughs> soft. Love that. But now we're just talking about Broken Planet, how it's upcoming. Yeah. Yeah. Right, everyone's starting to like the brand. I see like everyone's like oh, similar like that, dripping like in the hoodies, that. isn't it? What's, what's your... Not going to lie, though. We've got a minute to yes. I ain't even going to lie. So supply. I bought from you before. Mr. Brown's exclusive. Not sure if you remember, but I bought from you once before. But yeah, good. But yeah, the prices are decent. The, the fits cold on the hoodies. We're gonna keep going through and see what else we can find. This is what you call bromance. This is my boy SNC Kicks. I literally, I didn't even. He, I'm speechless. I, he doesn't even have to say his name. All I seen was just the, the eye contact, and we thought bros for life. We've got Come 20 on, seconds hi. left. Say hi to them. Hello, Mr. Brown exclusive fans. Yeah, so guys, this is Sam. He's well known for oh, SEC hey, Kicks. Literally it. known for selling so loads of used steals. Sometimes we buy used from him, him as well. Let's see what oh, he's got on the, the table. Brown. Literally, 140 it. pounds. Absolute Nine. steal. Eight. But yeah, you realize with Seven. Sam, he's always got some good prices. Eight. Always look after me as well. Four. Three. And he is very organized Two. with shipping as well. One. Cool. Like, what are you wearing today? What have you got on feet? Come on, talk about what you got on feet. You don't see them every day. Seriously, all right, talk about it. What shirt are you wearing? I said, I'm Leon Dor. I'm Leon Dor. I have no fucking clue. What, New Balances? Come out, come out a little bit more. Come out a little bit more. Let's see him. Let's see him. No one's going to steal from your store. Don't worry, I got you. Love it. Love it. How much do those cost? Now, yeah. four for 50. 
450 pounds. 450 pounds. Oh, those were mine as well. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? I did actually buy these from Sam. I've wanted these in my collection for ages, and he sorted me out for a good price. How much are you selling me to me for? About. I think you sold them to me for about. Nah, no, about 900 plus ship. Sam will always out on plus ship after. Oh my god. I bought mine for 900 pounds. VNDS. And this is the same pair. What, brand new or used? Used 1,140 pounds. I want to keep them. He never keeps anything. He sells every single thing he gets his hand on. If he could sell humans, he probably would, but he's not going to do that. How the rich stay rich. Did you hear that? That's how the rich stay rich. That's how the rich stay rich. Next minute, he's going to say we all got the same 24 hours. Oh, bro, love for that. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, yeah. All right, man, I'll see you in a Guys, so what literally, we're going to head over to one of my close boys in reselling as well. King of Kicks. If you don't know him, now you know him. Absolutely amazing guy. He's acting all shy because he's shy for the camera. Doesn't normally show his face. Gym freak. But yeah, let's get him on camera. What size do you like him? Serving a customer. But anyways, whilst he's serving a customer, oh, here he is. Here he is. See, never, never stops hustling, never stops hustling. He's still going, still going. But well, we'll check out his table in the meantime. Oh, literally what we were talking about previously about the Fearless Jordan ones. This is them here. Literally, when they, before they came out, oh, before they came out, they were literally doing about this price, 425, 4, 450 as well for women's sizes. And then they dropped down all the way down to about 200 to 250, depending on the size. Um, let's see what he's selling them for. So literally, women's is about 425. And this is what I mean, six, six and a half, you're looking at about 350. But anyways, I'll let him introduce himself. Come on, introduce yourself. What's going on? Hello, I'm Theo from King of Kicks. We're out today, stocked up, doing everything for the customers, all sizes, you know how it is. How many times have you been at Crep City and how have you found it? Crep City, we've, done, uh, we've been doing it for about two or three years and it's busy. Manchester's busy, London's busy. It's where you need to be, man. If, you, if, you do, if you're doing the trade of related stuff in the UK, this is where you need to be, man. Do you, do you think it's worth selling at Crep City and how we've, like, how we've, is it worth, is it profitable selling here? Look, guys, what you've got to understand is this, this is a marketing thing. You've got a chance to speak to your customers one on one and they can see what you're about. You, you don't, you're not able to do that on the internet. You can have an Instagram page, but it's not the same. This is where you can literally talk to your customers one on one and you can really do your brand properly. So it's, it's a marketing thing. It's not just about the money on the day. And you, you make connections with people. You've got to go around and speak to the other traders and speak to the other sellers. And you've got to get connections to do future business. You've got to realise the value in that. That's why these shows are important. So do you think you'll open up a physical store? I know me and you have talked about it a few times on the phone. And this guy's always in the gym. No matter when you call him, he's always in the gym. If he would have weights here now, he probably would. But do you think you'll have a physical store or is that something that you're thinking about in the future? Look, I'd, I'd love to have a store. Um, we're building the e-com team up. We're getting the perfect service online because you know it's been it's, it's uncertain as of now with COVID and stuff like that. Um, but I've just moved into a, a new place and we're focusing on the online. But a store definitely in the near future, definitely. I feel like we should get a discount because you've been leaning on these shoes. I think you've creased them quite a bit to be honest. The way I've been leaning on the shoes. But I do I do appreciate everything as well. What do you think the most expensive shoes it, shoes shoe is that you have here? The most expensive. What else have you got? I see that you've got off-white Air Forces down there. How much is that going for? Uh, off-white off off Air Force Ones. Um, I ain't gonna, oh, they're dunks. Oh, it's off-white Air Max 90s, I see. Air Max 90s. And okay, cool. But look, look it's, it's about the extra service you offer. So you're buying from us. You can pay in installments, pay on corners. We accept returns and it's a guarantee. We've never had a customer that's not satisfied and not had what they've paid for. That's the difference when you're buying from proper sellers. You've got to learn to realise the difference between proper sellers and people coming up. And there's nothing wrong with coming up, but look, you pay extra for the service. It's the reason why people charge more. That is very true, because sometimes people say, people say this before, like, why should I buy from you versus buying from someone else? But if you buy from someone else, you, if you want to return it and exchange it, they're not going to help you. For example, StockX. Well, StockX restocks and collect. They don't, re they don't do returns at all. Once you get it, that's it. And then... Normally I get messages of people saying, oh, can I swap it with you? But 
I can't really do that. I'd rather have the sizes for my customers that will need it and stuff like that. But what do you agree as well? The, the thing is, guys, if, if you're if you're buying off business owners, the, the end of the day, if anything issues go wrong, you're speaking to the owner straight away. You're not far off the owner. When you're buying off these platforms like StockX, I, I agree with the platforms and the need to be there. But I don't know if you've ever had any issues on that platform. But you you can't talk to anybody. There's no, there's no resolution to your issues. So that's the benefit of buying off a, a directly from a business owner because they care more about the service and they care more about the product. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. I think it was just really good that we touched topic on that. Because people always say, oh, why is your price more than hair, etc." But I feel like we do price things fair and I don't think people realize that we are all connected. We all try to be as fair as possible. And you are paying for the service and the efforts you put in on each and single item. We do go the extra mile for every single customer and that's what you should look into when it comes to the pricing of things as well. But anyways, we're gonna leave him and thank you anyways. So we're gonna get a bit on the creative side. Obviously we've got Anthony here, he's been hiding. But Anthony's like a brother to me. He literally does all our shoe cleaning and all our restoration. And um, yeah. <laughs> he works uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays if you want to visit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys, let's, let's get into a bit of creativity on the video. So we've got we've got these girls over here doing some creativity, doing some drawings. And yeah, let's get into it. You guys want to tell us what you um what you what, what you guys are creating, what you're designing? Oh <laughs> sick. Straight straight to the point. Straight to the point. What about you? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. What inspired you to do SpongeBob? Um I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she got bored and said, let's do SpongeBob today. Why uh, not? I'm trying to draw your mate. Yeah, sure. Oh my god. It, it does look quite nice though to start with. Thank you. How long have you been customising shoes? Um for about a year now. And how have you found it? Um I love I love doing um I love drawing. She does it more than me though. How long have you been how long have you been um customising shoes? A couple of years. How long is a couple? How long a couple? Uh fair enough. How have you found the market? How have you found it? Found what, sorry? How have you found the market in creative, um, customising shoes? Um, good. I draw too, so I feel like I just try and draw and everything, to be honest. Do you only draw or do you customise like with the material and, material and stuff as well? Material stuff as well. So you do the Dior and the Louis Vuitton with the Nike 6? Yeah. Amazing, what's your page called? Creo. At Creo. Okay, cool. I'll definitely give you a follow because I haven't really seen many people do it, so it'll be quite good. And obviously, I have a store in Bristol, so we might get in touch and stock a few of them in store. But anyways, I'll leave you guys to enjoy your SpongeBob and your Curve City, all right? Take care, all right? But yeah, that's the creativity. Um, we are looking to get someone to do customization in store. The moment we do shoe cleaning, uh, which Anthony does, and the restoration, and then we'll be looking into getting someone to do customization in regards to um, doing the materials, doing drawings, Air Forces, um, and also triple white dunks. I think the most requested thing at the moment would be um, Air Forces. But I feel like another page to check out is called Shoe Surgeon. He's really good. He literally makes shoes from scratch to something completely different. So what we're gonna be doing now, now guys, we're gonna be going around, we're gonna be checking out everyone's fit. We're gonna call this episode, What's Your Fit? We're gonna be going through, seeing what everyone's wearing. Follow me and we're gonna see what's your fit. Well, we're going to start with me. So literally today I'm wearing the Travis Scott Dunks. I think you're looking at about probably about 1.4, 1.5 on the Travis Scott Dunks in a size 9. We've got the Travis Scott um, Cargos, pretty good. You're looking at about 200. And literally just the Essentials hoodie, you're looking at about between 150 to 200. And a plain Zara top. That's literally all I've got on for now. But we're going to go around and check out everyone else. Follow me. Come on, Seb. You know I got you. You know I got you. How are you? Everyone, this is my boy Seb my Welsh yeah. friend. Um, so Seb, explain to us what fit you're wearing today. I just thought I was gonna go everyday essentials. Everyday. Not, nothing special, just comfies. What's on feet? Uh, Grey Fox. And then essentials tracks you, what do yeah. you think the full worth of the outfit is? What'd you say? What do you think the full worth of the outfit is? I don't know, like five, maybe. 500 pound he's going with. I say two, 250 on the Grey Fogs and about two, 250, 300 pound on the essentials tracksuit. So that puts it about, what, £550? Come on, come in the video, come on. All right, explain to us what you're wearing today. Uh, black essentials with the Union uh, essentials bottoms and uh, black off-white crestos. Jeez, winning! Love the fit, man. Love the, app, love the fit. Absolutely amazing. Safe for that, though. Yeah, Talk about your fit, come on. She's been shy. She's been shy, but I'll do it for her anyway. 
She's wearing foam runners on deck. Don't know what those leggings are, but I know she's wearing corporate hoodie, who's my boy, and his clothing brand's absolutely amazing. Make sure you follow him. Love the fit today, love the bag. Don't know what that brand is, but it does look quite nice. What he's wearing today, he's wearing Mocha Jordan 1s. Where's the cargoes? Cargoes, H&M. And then, then, ooh, and then Essentials hoodie. Love the fit. Oh, nice. MCM bag. Can't forget the MCM bag. Yeah. Jeez. It's good, man. Thank you. I feel like I'm in heaven. I mean, everyone that I've been buying it off of since I started reselling. This hair, he is probably, obviously, I know you got black timing, but this guy's timing is absolutely amazing. worse. Amazing. His timing is worse than mine. This is. This is Safi, yeah? Everyone, Safi is one of my close friends, especially in reselling. Yeah. Prices are also good as well, but also long when it comes to shipping. Never, never. It's perfect shipping all the time. Let's, all right, Safi, let's tell us about what you're wearing today. Come on, let's go. Me, I'm wearing... Uh, yeah, let's start from the toe, work your way up. Don't hide, don't be shy. A Montclair jacket. Yeah. And then Essentials hoodie, obviously. Just standard Dior bag. And then Fragment tee. And then, obviously, just standard mockers, nothing. Basically, basically dripping from head to toe, he's just it's not just gonna casual, admit it. Oh, this guy. But yeah, how have you found Crab City so far? It's not bad, it's not bad. Prices are a bit. Especially high? High. High. High or low? High, they're high. Extremely high? I wanted to cash out, and I couldn't. Yeah, keep your money in your pocket. I don't think you're gonna be cashing yeah. out. This guy's prices versus everyone else's prices is. I was thinking US prices here. He's always thinking US prices, but the conversion rate at the moment is not the same. How are you being though? Everything good? I'm good, I'm good. We're enjoying Crep City. It's absolutely amazing. Shooting content. Can't say anything else. No, uh, no stall. I thought you'd have a stall here. I'm just here to have a look, and I feel like next time I might have a stall, see how it goes. But I might do something more fun than have a stall. Try and create something fun out of it, because I feel like it's more for marketing purposes. So that's really good for them. But anyways, thank you anyway. Yeah, no, it's all good. No worries. Anyways, I seen a bit of love for that there. I appreciate that. Love. Oh my god, this is tiring. It's absolutely tiring. Oh, look at this. Look at this fucker. How are you? Yeah, chilly, man. This guy, Drippy. Let's talk about your outfit. Let's talk about what you're wearing from head to toe. What's up, bro? Let's talk about what you're wearing from head to toe. Um, Valentino, Balenciaga, Amiri, Kos, Rolex. See, look, look, he just had to get the Rolex in there. He just had to. He just had to. What Rolex have you got on? Let's go. Day, day. Retail or over retail? Uh, retail. Hmm. I got connects. Huh? I got connects. This guy's always got connects. Got, got to love this guy, man. But it's nice to see you, though. I appreciate it. So, guys, we've got my boy Finley here. He's looking absolutely drippy today. So, explain to the, explain to the everyone on Mr. Brown's what, what you're wearing today. Okay. I got, of course, I had to go classic. I had the cement freeze, 2018 though. Some um, night baggy bottoms, the Supreme t-shirt underneath, Supreme North Face, and the boxer to top it off, bro. Jeez, man said Supreme everything, it. You're probably boxes as well. Oh my God, you got the boxes as well? No way! <laughs> oh, Raya, man, thank you, man. You actually got a box as well? Oh, he's got a box. <laughs> oh my God, Raya, love. Oh my god, I didn't even expect that. <laughs> um, right, keep, let's keep going. I feel like it's just getting better. It's going to get better. It's lit. Hey, he's probably going to be a bit shy, but we don't know. But he's wearing a big heat on feet, so let's see how the approach goes. Hello, boss. Can you explain to the camera your heat, feet you're, the heat you're wearing today? Let's run through it. Start from the shoe and work our way up. Um, off white Jordan ones. Uh, What'd you pay for those? What'd you pay for the off-white off -white ones? Um, 700. That was a steal? 700 pounds? Yeah. What, brand new or used? Uh, brand new, uh, used. Used? Ooh, that's a steal. What size? Uh, 12. Ooh! Okay, keep going. Um, <laughs> that's it really. That's, that's it? Oh, come on. Well, yeah, man, I appreciate that, but love the, love the shoe. I think that makes up for the entire thing you're wearing. Don't leave me hanging. There we go. Love that. Thank you, bro. So Anthony's just literally said to me that one of one of our good friends is over here as well, who's also a part of Mr. Brown's family, Vicky. So we're gonna go over here to say hi and see what she's got on the table. So follow us and let's go. What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? I am wearing the Strange Love SV Dunks that Anthony over here kindly cleaned up for me because they were very dirty. Uh, what, what about the hoodie? hoodie? Uh, this is actually belongs to Jamal. <laughs> Finally let me borrow it. <laughs> Vicky's always borrowing stuff. And, <laughs> and lending stuff. Back. Yeah, she never gives it back. Okay, cool. So what heat have you got on your table? Uh, I have, I'll bring you some. 
bring me some heat. Well, one heat I can see is the Travis Scott. We can see the Travis Scott fours. Really good shoe, I think they're used condition. Also, we've got the shattered backboards. Look at that shoe, absolutely amazing. And then also over here, we've got the off-white Air Force One Volts. Absolutely stunning shoe, RIP Virgil. Oh, okay, cool. And then this beast over here as well. Look at this, UNC Jordan 1 highs. Absolutely amazing. Vicky does look after her shoes very well because she has too many to wear them all anyway. Really yeah, my good. Two favorites. And then this is the Travis Scott use. Absolutely amazing shoe. Look at this guy. Yo, pick up guys the plug. I've spoken to this guy on Instagram yeah. probably a few times. I don't even know if he remembers who I am, innit? Yeah, I sent him a message when I first started Instagram. Literally, when he first started reselling, he messaged me, and now... Mr. Brown's exclusive. Shout out to Mr. Brown's exclusive every time, and shout out on the new shot, you get me? I've seen the oh, shot, oh my God. I've noticed it, oh. and he's doing big things. Respect. Bro, I, I appreciate it. How are you? How, how are you, man? I'm all right, man. Not too bad, bro. I've been a lot of footwork, a lot of early mornings, late nights, but you get the job done, you know what I mean? How, how, are, you, how are you finding being at Krebs City? I mean, compared to last year, it's a lot more busy. There's a lot more pairs everywhere, and I mean, there's a lot more people, so yeah, I'm enjoying it, man. What do you think's better, Manchester Crab City or London Crab City? I've not been to London yet, but if you're my honest opinion, I'm from up north, so shout out to the guys from Manny, man. I'm not gonna lie, night life in Manny is an absolute madness. Come on, come on. Absolute madness. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Browns all the time. Oh, you get me? Shout out to love, Easy bro. Kicks, man. I yes, appreciate what he's doing, man. Come on. This guy. Literally, just, so I feel like this is what we should talk about when it comes to algorithm with Reels and TikTok. Come I feel on. like the video that you posted with Gun Lee, was it Gun Lee? Boys, believe it or not, my Instagram got disabled. Somebody spam, spam reported me and I lost everything. But, but regardless, we still come push, back. we still Always keep come on back. going. Look, the pairs are still there. I haven't yeah. lost any of the pairs, come back. none of the I, reputation. Wow. So, what, so what, what happened to your Insta? I don't know, I believe I got spam reported. Um, my account got disabled and I haven't been able to get it back. It's been about a month now, so. And when I say to you, this guy, this guy actually worked so hard. Reels after reels, every literally every time I go on this guy's page, I go straight to the reels. Always matches it with the reels. And again, shout out to Mr. Brown's exclusive one more time. You're done now. Oh, I love, bro. I appreciate it. I love, bro. I love. I'm so sorry to hear about your insert. Part of the life. Move it. Move it. Move it. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sad to hear about his Insta, man. Now I feel like we've completely done with the fits. We're going to be going through and talking about what is good to invest in. We're going to talk about the top 10 shoes, because I feel like sometimes it all varies. We'll go through the top 10 shoes that's good to invest in. Quick flips, every penny counts. Let's go, and we'll start with the first shoe in a second. what's good to invest in at the moment. I feel like this is the best way to start off. So I feel like these are good. So these are the Diamond One Mids. I would definitely say these are in the top 10. Um, you can dish, literally, I feel like these will be a shoe from about 200 to 250. Now is the best time to buy shoes because obviously it's that time when not many people are buying, not many people are really selling. But by the time it comes to summer, these will definitely be higher. I say these are definitely in the top 10. Cool. Another shoe that I want to touch topic on is the UNC New Balances. These are definitely one of the shoes to invest in. I feel like they're going to become the new Dunks. Dunks, I don't know. It's a competition between two. Malik, what do you think? Dunks or New Balances? You got it. New Balance. Protection pack only though. Protection pack. Dunks or New Balance? UNC colorway, fire. 550, fire. Dunks or New Balance? Presented to you by Luso. Dunks. Dunks! Oh my God! Hold on, hold on, hold on. The protection pack's been going hard, so I don't know, but I'm still gonna have to hold on to the dunks, man. True, 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 true. All right, let me get a female opinion. I feel like I need. Oh my! I'm not stealing the shoe. I'm not stealing the shoe. But, but it's a quick one. What do you think, dunks or New Balance? Well, it depends on the dunk. But I think New Balance are new and I like how they're going to bring it back, do you know what I mean? Like, I like that, but first of all, what, the shoes? The, the, oh my God, it's drippy, isn't it? Oh, let's talk about the fit, let's talk about the fit. Okay, well, I decided to do the little thunder matching yellow stripes. I wanted to make it all cohesive, you get me, but I've seen no one wearing my shoes. So it's a did, you, did you get those for retail, the Lightnings? Retail, 2012 I bought these. When oh I my God, and you kept them in good condition as well? Nah, they're not that bad. Have you seen some people how they wear shoes? Yeah, yeah. They wear shoes. And I like the jeans as well. I love how it coordinates with the shoes. 
and the top and the jacket. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. And she was acting shy two minutes ago. And look at, she's acting shy two minutes ago. She's like, she's like no, yeah, because I got it in 2012. Oh, don't look at my toes. <laughs> nah, literally. No, I feel like they, I love fours. I love fours more than anything else. Yeah. I could have wore like a more hype shoe, like off white dunk, but I feel like these are hard to come by. 2012 never came out again. You know. What, what do you think you want to get next in your collection? Ooh, uh, I would say I want a pair of the lot, like the 50, the off white dunks. I do like them. I also want the New Balance. You know the new pack that came out, yeah? What well, the fair packs? The grey like safari ones, you know what I mean? I like them. Nah. I didn't know if you'd be a new balance, new I'll balance have a girl. Drip. I'll make that drip. I, I feel like you I thought you were gonna say you would need off-white fours in your collection. Off-white fours are basic. They're nice, obviously RP Virgil. They're a beautiful shoe, but it's not for me. What? It's not for me. She just said off-white fours is basic. Oh, I need to cancel. I need to take it out of my collection. Cancel me. She just this off-white fours. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna in, I'm gonna put them in the bin. Oh, because I said that. I'm putting it in a bin, but yeah, thank you very much anyway. All right, cool. I feel like something else I want to touch base is on. One of the best sellers in store at the moment, which I find quite weird, is the Grey Greens. Literally one of the best sellers in our store at the moment. We've sold so many pairs. I think it's because the price is pretty good, especially for a Jordan 1 mid, and the colorway is nice. And their price here is pretty decent as well. Price here is, that's 140 pounds, which isn't too bad. And especially if you're good at neg negotiating, you can probably get it down to about probably 130 to 135. I say these are also a good shoe to buy if you want a quick flip. It wouldn't be a lot on top, but any buck makes a dime, all right? Another shoe that is good to invest in as well, and I'll mention it now as well. The, the Red Thunder 4s, I would say is a good investment. It depends on what your bulk price is, but Jordan 4s always do well, especially when it comes close to summer. If you can pick up pairs for around 300 mark, then they're definitely good to get. But I wouldn't go too much because you've got the infrared fours dropping in May. Let's ask Safi since we, we bumped into him again. But what shoes do you think is good to invest in at the moment? At the moment? Thunder GS. This is what I'm saying. Jordan fours, you can never lose money. But it also depends on how much you get it for, innit? So what else, what else do you think? Diamond GS. Diamond GS? Yes. Oh, those are the black and white maids I showed you guys previously. Those are also good to invest in as well. But yeah, save for that, bro. I don't know what it is, but every time I see yeah, well gone. Every every time I see bear bricks, it's just unique. But I think these are the four thousand percent bear bricks. Pretty good if you got a sneaker room. They're pretty good to buy. Um, also, off white accessories like the off white rugs, uh, off white chairs and stuff like that's pretty good. I need to find at least one or two more shoes that's good to invest in, and I feel like we'll call it down investment sneakers and go from there. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, he's got some Balenciaga tracks. I believe these are the new season Balenciaga tracks. Uh, Pretty decent. Are they below retail? Not too sure. Probably not. We'll have a look through. But these are quite nice. I've got two pairs of Balenciaga tracks. They don't look comfortable, but they're, they're decent. They're comfortable in my opinion. I've got the black pair and the white pair. Pretty good. What else has he got? Oh, he's got the Yeezy 350 V2s. These ones just released. I wouldn't say these are a good investment because Yeezys aren't really as popular anymore. They tend to be quite volatile. Um, is it volatile? Yeah, volatile, so we'll go from there. Like these ones were the OG, OG sneakers I first got when I came in the UK. And they bricked quite hard when they came back out, so Yeezys are unpredictable. So another shoe that I would say is pretty good to invest in is the Infrared 4s. These, I've done a review on it and a lot of people prefer these over the Thunder 4s. I am confused because I prefer the Thunder 4s but my favorite color is red. But the Infrared 4 is set to release in May in men's sizes. At the moment, I think they dropped on Foot Locker for women's sizes pre previously. Um, resell on it at the moment, I think you get pairs up for about, depending on the person, you're gonna be looking at probably about 210 to 250, depending on the mood that they're in, and go from there. But then resell value, I think we sell them in store for 290, from size, six, size three to size six. So it's not too bad. Cool. Nice to meet you, man. Sorry. What's your page called? M5 Sneakers. M5 Sneakers. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Brown's exclusive. Very good collection you got here as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a mix between me and, uh, and Billy A. Oh, Billy, come over and speak to the camera, man. How have you, you found Crab City so far? Um, good, man. It's uh, busy. Is, is it your first time here? No, I did it last time at Bowlers, um, but it's always crazy here, man. Well, is, have you always done it in Manchester? Have you done it in London as well? I've never done it in London. I've done one in Liverpool, but Manchester's 
Do you think it's good to be here? Do you feel like the sales is good or do you feel like it's good for marketing purposes? Um, for me, I, my business is based in Manchester, so it's a lot of marketing as well. You get a lot of customers for all, to all year round. Um, but any crypt that you go to, man, it's just good. What about the sales size of thing? Is the sales good or is it just mainly for the marketing? Sales are always good, man. <laughs> Booming! <laughs> Love, bro, appreciate it. I feel like we're almost, we've almost finished walking out of the whole place. I feel like we just need one more shoe and I feel like that is it for the investment purposes and we are done. So we made a bet when we first came in here that we'll try and just make sure we don't see anyone in the same shoes as us. And I've just seen someone in a pair of Travis Scott Dunks. It's the first time seeing someone wearing the same shoes as me today. And I am gutted as he slowly walks away. So I did lose that bet. So I just need to find someone wearing either Ferrari, for, um, Ferrari 14s, which probably won't happen, and a pair of Guava 4s. So I guess I lost that one. Can I have a Red Bull as well, please? Are, are, you, are you giving me one each, or are you just giving me? Uh, are you, you even opened it from, oh my God, you know what? Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> After all the talking I've been doing, this is definitely needed. It ain't gonna give me wings though, but. <laughs> I need to eat wings, I'm hungry. Oh yeah, he is hungry, he hasn't eaten. We kind of went for breakfast and we forgot to invite him, but I do, <laughs> but I do apologize. He's, he's been calling me a dog for not inviting him, but I apologize. He was sleeping. Well, we're gonna get back to it now. Uh, I've just found a group of people that's got absolute heat on feet. It looks simple, but boy, the shoe game is absolutely crazy. I'm looking at, I'm a man, yeah, Jordan 3s. And I'm a man, yeah, Jordan 1s. And off-white Jordan 1s, the all-white versions. And a few over heat. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in the bin first. I don't want to litter. And then we'll get into it. Oh my God, look at this kid. Oh, let's, get, let's grab him, let's grab him, let's grab him. Let's talk about his fit. Come on, let's talk about your fit. You're looking drippy and you're wearing Chicago Jordan 1s, off-white. So let's talk about your feet from 92. Right, I've got Chicago's. I got them like three years ago for two grand. For two, two grand? Ooh. Have you seen how much they're worth now? Yeah, like seven, isn't it? Do you think you'll ever sell them? Not sure. Alright, cool. What else are you wearing? I'm wearing some D square jeans, off white shirt, I got a ring, and my watch. I got. I'm saying the full outfit, yeah. He's looking at about what, three grand on the full outfit? Or more than, more than that? More. What, what are you saying? What are you saying the full outfit is? It's like eight. Eight thousand pounds for the full outfit. Oh, because of the Jordan One Chicago's, the resale value as well. And the watch. What watch is that? Uh, it's a Taika Monaco. Whoa! See, we got a few watches in the building today. First, we've seen a, a date, a date, a day date previously as well. Nice. So, what else do you want to get watch-wise? Um. Rolex. Cartier. I won't mind the Rolex. Nice. Daytona. Decent, cool. Well, I love for that, bro. Thank you. Love the fit. Cool. Let's see what else. Actually, I'm meant to be finding actually one more investment shoe, but everyone's looking so drippy. I just can't say no. Like what? All right, cool. I'm gonna have to get this group over here. I can. I can. I've been, I've been, I've been hesitating coming over. Sorry to interrupt the conversation, but I've never seen a good drip group of people. He's so humble. Look at what he, he's wearing. He's, he's just like, oh, is he gonna speak to me? Is he gonna speak to me? <laughs> oh my Jesus! I thought he was 25. What are you doing? Don't do that. He's a granddad. I didn't look at this guy over here, a little cheeky fucker. Oh my god! But yeah, everyone's feet is looking amazing. But he wanted me to talk to him, and he was just there, like, oh, I've undead saw these today. You better talk to me, or else just move. Chicago kid, and he was feeling left out, man. He was feeling left out. I don't worry. I remember I had a, I had a pair of those that my barber got for retail. Kept them for two years. Did you get these for retail? I bought that, sorry. Did you get them for retail? I did, yeah. So, baby, I got them through Wasspring on Spring Clean. So, they, they took a message me saying, you, We've got a pair in the warehouse. Do you want a pair? I was like, Go on then. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> this is the type of shit that just been, what the fuck? Oh my god. So, what else are you wearing? Oh, well, these? Oh, don't say that. See, about eight quid here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Cut a clip! Cut a clip! Oh my god! Hey, okay, cool. So basically, he's, what he's saying is fuck everything else he's wearing. It's all about the shoes, all right? That's the main thing at the moment. But yeah, love the shoe. Is it your first time wearing them out today, or? No, no, no. I'm going for 
two, three years. Fair enough. Really good condition now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's get let's get on to you as well. Then don't be quiet in the corner. What are you wearing today? Soulflies. Soulfly ones. Yeah. Uh, sneakers and recreation shorts. Supreme jumper. That's about it, right? It's all about being simple, but we can never forget to shoot us on feet. All right, cool. Let's 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 come over here. The Amma Man, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't be camera shy now, but literally, before we came in, absolutely amazing. But who's the dad? <laughs> Sorry, he called you granddad. Get out, get out, get out. But yeah, literally, everyone's shoe game is amazing. I, I just don't even know what to say. It's just, I could, I could touch your feet, but I'm not going to. But yeah, drip is on point, guys. Love it. Yo, literally, I still need to find one more investment shoes, and then we're done out here and I can have a bit of fun and kill the clip. We're gonna let Malik give you guys the last investment shoot to do. He's saying the protection pack, I'm not too familiar with that. So I'm gonna let Malik take over and talk you through why it's a good investment shoot to get. Nah, it's a crispy shoe. New Balance, one of the best that they've dropped. The colors are amazing, the materials are amazing. They have just had a major restock, but people was paying seven to nine bills for them. So it's more than likely that over time, once people start to wear their pairs out, they'll be prepared to pay a good price for them again. But just to show you what the protection pack looks like, I think that this is a good example to show you the shoe here at the top. Absolutely amazing shoe. It's not something that I would wear in my collection. It's not what I can... I don't, personally, I don't think I could pull it off, but I guess everyone's each to their own in it. So yeah, pretty good. Guys, that's it. We've come to an end. Crep City, Manchester. It's been an absolute blast. I've had an amazing weekend. We've had an amazing day today. We've walked through investment tips. We've walked through fits. We've walked through, is Crep City worth it? We've walked through stores. We've walked through every single thing you can talk about, including creativity and shoe cleaning. Well, you might see me selling, you might see me having fun next time, but I'm tired, Anthony's hungry, and let's get it and see you soon.